We're beginning our film series review here on Broncos second round pick KJ Hamler, a speedy burner wide receiver out of Penn State. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys just to watch the tape for himself. Watch how he gets open with his speed, his impeccable route running as well. Uh, but watch what he does here. He gets open. Okay, tight end gets it. But then watch what he does. He gets active in the run game. He comes up and seals him off and blocks him off with his hip here. I'll show you guys here from the other angle here. But not only is he a fast guy, he plays like a dog. He's got that dog mentality. He plays with the chip on his shoulder. But watch him right here. Look at that little seal off. Stepping in front of the defender to free up his tight end for yards after the catch. He got active. Obviously, in this film series, I'm going to show you guys some of his big plays, too. But I just want to show you some of the stuff that he does when he's not getting the football, how he gets open, his route running. You know, sometimes he's not going to get the ball, but he's going to do something. He gets open. I want you guys to see what type of player K.J. Hamler could be here for this Denver Broncos team. On this one, the ball's not going to him. But look at this cornerback. He's playing press coverage right here. He's got some inside help. This safety is going to track down due to seeing where the route and the timing is going to develop here. But watch the separation right here. Now, as you can see, He's on top of the defensive back right here. He's going to give a plant and get inside, and he's going to create separation. Watch the separation right here. Look at this quarterback on the run run pass option. They call it an RPO. If he were to pull it and then throw it, KJ Hamler is going to catch this. He's going to be gone for a touchdown here, but he just gets open. He's too fast for many DBs. Penn State's backed up on their own goal line here, but K.J. Hamler, look, this is another opportunity of him getting open. If the quarterback can see it quickly, you know, this is a first down, possibly more here. Now, he's going to throw a little chip route uh, to the tailback coming back underneath here, but watch K.J. Hamler in the slot. He's the number two guy. Look at this separation right here. Now, look at this. This corner right here, he's going to bail back because he's got to rely on the vertical threat right here. He's got to respect that. This safety right here is climbing the middle. Number three for Pitt, hell of a freaking football player, and obviously he's coming up here to attack here. So KJ Hamler is going to break on a deep out and he's going to be wide open. But, you know, for the running back, he, you know, he's the quick design guy here. The quarterback's got to get the ball to his hands quickly. But KJ Hamler, once again, demonstrating getting open. We talk about a player that says he's got a chip on his shoulder. He says that he plays with a dog mentality, and that's K.J. Hamler right here in the slot. Now, I want you guys to watch this player. Now, him and number three for Pitt, they went at it this game. Number three is a dog. Now, what you're going to see here, this is an inside run play. This safety right here, he's actually creeping up here, but he's going to actually bail back here. Then you've got this guy one-on-one. -on -one. One-on-one -on -one coverage here, but it's going to be an inside run here. Now, K.J. Hamler does the A, B, C's, and D's of blocking. Attacks. Breaks down, makes contact, drives his feet. Number three right here, he's going to ragdoll him a little bit. That's what happens when you're a little 5'9", but he doesn't back down. He doesn't shy away from contact, and that's one thing I really like about K.J. Handler's tape. Now, sure, he gets ragdolled here, but he opens it up for the running back to be able to get outside. He takes number three out of the play for Pitt's defense. Now, I'm going to show you guys here, once we get to the end zone angle, just where he attacks the leverage here. This is one thing I really like about him. He can work on the slot. He can work on the outside. So now, as you see here, he's got one-on-one -on -one coverage. This safety's going to cover K.J. Handler, which, you know, I think he did a pretty good job considering the fact, uh, you know, that he only had 68 total yards in this game. But watch the leverage here. Now, it's an inside run. As you see, K.J. Handler releases inside. Now, what he's going to try to do, he's going to come around here, and he's going to try to seal this inside shoulder on the run play so he can't get active in uh, helping out his defense here. So watch there. Now he does a great job making contact, breaking down. Now he's driving his feet. Now because of the size disadvantage and how strong number three is, number three kind of suplexes him a little bit. But look, now number three cannot make a play on number four here for Penn State. And this is going to be a big time gain, really all set up by K.J. Hamler's block. The Broncos have needed to find a way to counteract the speed element of Tyreek Hill in the AFC West. They've got their own guy in K.J. Hamler. I'm going to let you guys watch this film here. Look, he's going to just absolutely demolish this corner here on this play. Yards after the catch. Step, whoop, and he's up the field. You can't catch him. And then look at the crisp inside ability to break and make guys miss. This is one thing I like. And number three, like I mentioned, that stud safety from Pitt comes up and makes a play. And a look, it's competitive. But this out route here, he reminds me so much of Emmanuel Sanders, the way that he runs his route especially the out routes and watch what he does after the play he just makes a man miss gets upfield sidesteps inside like look there's nothing you can really do to counteract that luckily number three makes that play or else that's a touchdown for Penn State here a little bit of a John there he's got that dog mentality I like that about him let's watch it again bam out route catches it makes a move gets upfield this is what the Broncos need, ladies and gentlemen. This is a guy that's going to come in and change the dynamic of this offense I'm excited to see what Pat Shermer can do with KJ Hamler
I'll give you guys the perspective of a defensive back and a wide receiver here. I played both positions. So when as a wide receiver, you got a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And if he's played pressed up, sometimes your coach just tells you to outside release, run him vertical, try to take him out, especially on a run play. You know, make it seem like it's a pass play. As a DB, if you're man-on-man, -man, I mean, you have no choice but to go with him. That's what happens here. But watch the route here by K.J. Hamler. Very crisp. The initial step of the line of scrimmage, outside release, inside, and really he just takes the DB out of the play, so he's taking the defender out of the way. Why are you showing me this, Cody? Well, I think that we have to look at the sum of all parts when it comes to evaluating a wide receiver and taking a look at some of the talent. Now, obviously, I think that these are the things he does well when he's not getting the football. You have to evaluate just outside of the highlights. We can look at highlights all day, but it's about what he does when he's not getting the ball and what he does to take defenders away from a play. Outside of his playmaking ability as a receiver, his route running, one thing that K.J. Handler is very good at is blocking. This is something that Coach Zani is absolutely going to love. I guarantee you he already loves it. He's probably already had that conversation. But look at him blocking, engaging the blocker. We talk about the A, B, C's, and D's of blocking, ladies and gentlemen. Attack, break down, contact, drive your feet. Now watch right here. Now you see him being active right there. Good hands inside the frame, footwork, mirroring, wherever the defender's trying to go. He's just being active. He's got to hold on him like a pit bull. All right, Broncos country, I've showed you a variety of plays about him blocking, about him, what he does when he's not getting the football. He's going to be a great culture addition to the Broncos locker room. He's a guy that will buy into what Vic Fangio and Coach Zani are selling, and he's going to help the Broncos offense get better. They only scored 17 points per game in 2019. I can almost guarantee you that with Jerry Judy, with K.J. Hamler in the mix here, the Broncos offense should be better off going into 2020. Now, he's going to score on this play. He's in the slot. He takes some contact here from the safety coming downhill, but his speed and his ability yards after the catch is so special. Same thing with Jerry Judy. Yards after the catch, K.J. Hamler takes the DB's ankles here. I guarantee you, everybody in the film room, they were uh, they were having a little bit of a laugh out there because, look, K.J. Hamler's a fast guy. Probably one of the faster guys in the issues NFL draft. Henry Rugspeed, Tyree Killspeed. But watch this. He does a great job reading where the DB's trying to attack, and bam, you know, you just can't do anything. You lose your ankles, you got to get them sent back to you. But bam, inside, outside, track, bam, cut, inside. What about my legs, Eddie Murphy? And then K.J. Handler does the rest for Penn State. He runs it in the end zone for a touchdown. We look forward to seeing that happen in the orange and blue. All right, now I'm going to transition to my John Gruden boys here. But let me tell you about K.J. Hamler, man. Now, he's in the slot here. When you command three defenders all together, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's an ultimate sign of respect here. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what Michigan State does here. They're no match for K.J. Hamler's speed, man. But what they're going to do is they're going to drop this corner back here into deep coverage. He's going to be playing pretty much man-to-man -man coverage, trying to trail that outside hip here. They got this guy trailing as well. He's going to cover here. This inside backer who stepped up into the line of scrimmage he's also going to bail back to get vertical coverage overneath there now watch this man look at this outside route but he just breaks him off clearly man and and look he's got this open space now you got a coverage guy underneath here and a cover two you got this guy back deep here and you got kj hamler wide open right here on the out route tight little window here by the quarterback and he's going to make a reception here i call this a concentration catch it's one of my favorite plays outside of Spider 2 wide banana, but all together, he throws it right here. Now look, this is where all together, sometimes if you are a wide receiver, this is where we call concentration drops or focus drops. This defender is doing his best to kind of step in front, create a little bit of conflict within the route interest. The ball's right here, so usually sometimes when you see that defender, you take your eyes off of the football, and this usually sometimes leads to a drop. But look, you got one defender here, two, three, Four in this window here, and he makes a great catch here. Takes some contact, stands up. He lets Michigan sideline know all about it. K.J. Handler had two touchdowns against Michigan here. Michigan in man-to-man -man coverage. I'm going to show you what they do here. Number one right here for Penn State on the outside, he's going to run a slant. Number two is going to run a slant. K.J. Handler's the number three receiver. He's just going to release all the way up the field vertically. And no one's going to be in, in a proximity to stop him here. He gets well behind the defensive back. This is what the Broncos need. Tyreek Hill does this all the time to teams in the NFL. K.J. Handler can do it at the next level very effectively. Now look at this little distance right here. This DB has no chance here. The throw is going to be placed well over the top here to where really the DB cannot do it. He can't disrupt it. He can't knock the pass down. Uh, this is a touchdown. He's smoked, burnt toast, whatever you want to call it. Touchdown. KJ Hamler. And I'm going to show you guys here from the end zone angle. Just the separation he gets from this defensive back right here. Especially in man-to-man -man coverage. That's a tough concept to cover. Usually if a DB takes a deeper angle, you can almost maybe fit in on the hip position and maybe disrupt it. But like I said, speed kills on the gridiron highway. And KJ Hamler, he's driving a Ferrari.